Hi. So my name is uh, Eli Rottenberg, and my talk is about uh, protecting your DOM from tampering using cryptographic tree transforms. So here's a problem I'm trying to solve. Um, on the web, third-party scripts can violate the invariance of React. And they do this by mutating the DOM behind our back. This can be caused by invasive ads, uh, buggy external scripts, or browsers extensions such as ad blockers. All these sources can access the DOM directly by working the document object using document.querySelector selector and document.querySelector all, or injecting style tags with new CSS rules or whatever. Um, when I start doing that, bad things happen. You can have performance issues, uh, for example, when they cause uh, layout thrashing. You can have uh, layout issues when uh, new HTML nodes are inserted uh, in a place where you didn't expect them. And of course, you have functionality issues when your app or website start behaving in a way um, it wasn't meant for. Um, this is bad because we program our apps and websites to have a certain well-defined and predictable behavior. The whole point of using React in the first place is to have our apps and websites behave exactly how we describe them to behave. We do not want this to be compromised by external scripts. So here's a simple example of how a third-party style sheet would prevent a div from, uh, from appearing. On the left, we have a snippet of JSX appearing somewhere in our app. On the, on the right, we have an external style sheet injected by an ad-blocking browser extension. It targets a specific part of our DOM and hides it. This could break our layout, our features, or simply starve our business to death. Since we don't want this to happen, we can apply several transformations at the virtual DOM tree level to prevent these hacks from working. Our first transformation is class name obfuscation. It takes a component and transforms its render function so that all class names are replaced with an encrypted counterpart. This encrypted counterpart is not random, but it uses a one-way cryptographic hash function. So from the point of view of an external script or style sheet, it is as if it were random, though. Static class names can no longer be used to target specific elements in our DOM. But this is not enough. The third-party style sheet could be modified uh, not to rely on class names, but use tag names or CSS pseudo classes. So that's where our second transformation kicks in, tag name sophistication. We use a similar technique, but this time tag names get encoded. Note that this, not, this does not require any custom component support or polyfill. Vanilla React supports using custom tag names like charm. Once again, we're using a cryptographic transform, so third-party scripts can't use tag names to target our DOM anymore. They would have to use quite complex uh, selectors based entirely on the graph structure of the HTML tree, but with, an eff with enough efforts, they could still manage to target it. And that's why we introduce <laughs> our third transform, tree structure obfuscation. This transform is a bit more complicated. It inserts variable depths, vi variable depths intermediate elements to shuffle the tree structure itself, once again using a cryptographic hash, making it impossible to predict for third-party script. Though it is completely impossible for third-party selectors to target our DOM. So far, we have demonstrated how to obfuscate a single component. But for the transform to be effective, all components should be decorated. To do this, we use a simple yet powerful trick, which I think have, uh, has many applications besides preventing ad blockers from working. We rewrite the render function of the root component so that the return element tree is transformed using the transformation I've just described. But then we also rewrite the render function of the components appearing in the, in the return element tree exactly the same way. In this way, we have just defined a recursive tree transformation that will be automatically applied to all the components in the tree without having to manually decorate each, each one of them. So I've packaged these transforms into a small library called React Armor. Uh, which recursively applies all this transformation to all the components in your app. It obfuscates cl class names, tag names, and tree structure. The result is that no part of your DOM is targetable by static selectors. For obvious practical reasons, React Armor also allows you to apply the exact same translation to your style sheets so that you can keep using CSS to style your components while keeping your DOM safe from third party mutations. Thanks for listening, and uh, please feel to check out the code on uh, GitHub.